All right, since we're on the topic, we want to take the time now to answer one of your questions, like we talked about at the top of the show, and it stems from our wildfire coverage last week. On Friday, specifically, we talked about the role our winds played in sending already burning wildfires into overdrive and possibly starting new ones. Pacific Power, specifically, is now facing a class action lawsuit for not turning off its power grid, even after being warned that high winds were coming. They're not commenting on that suit. After the segment aired, though, Sharon Wind, and I really hope that your last name is pronounced Wind because that would be amazing, she tweeted at me and at the story, and she wrote, what about burying the power lines? Would that be too costly? Sharon, that is an awesome question, and I promised you on Friday we would look into it, and we have. The short answer is, you guessed right. You, uh, utility companies have historically said it's expensive. It's really expensive. Lots of coverage tied to this topic came out, as you can imagine, following the campfire that devastated Paradise, California. Much of that damage was blamed on PG&E and their downed power lines. Case in point, this piece in the San Francisco Chronicle, and specifically it quoted the cost of undergrounding, apparently that's a term, power lines versus stringing them overhead like we're all used to. A new overhead line costs nearly $450,000 per mile, says the Chronicle. A new underground line starts at above $1.1 million, and that's outside of cities. A 2015 report by the San Francisco city and county officials said in Oakland, the cost of an underground line jumps to $2.8 million per mile. In San Jose, it was $4.6 million. And the industry consensus seems to be that cost would be shouldered by customers. So all that said, we reached out to PG&E, to Pacific Power, and to Portland General Electric about where they stand with this practice, with this idea, especially with the growing role that high winds are playing with these fires. We haven't yet heard back. We'll let you know if and when we do.